Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and today we're going to be talking about buffers. The difference between weights, which one you want to use, what is better, pros and cons, and also the difference between real ones and also the ones from the GBBR world. Now, as you can see here, those are different kinds. Now the first one right here, that is a Viper Tech. And there are no weights in here. It's just one piece of aluminum to, if we get a real one, I don't know if you can hear that. There we go, those are weights, shifting weights. Now, why, why would you wanna take a real one? Some GBBRs, like mine, and also my M16, had uh, issue with the, with the ball bouncing. That means when it slams forward, it doesn't stay like that. It slams forward and then bounces back and forth just for a little bit. With this one, it was fine, but with the M16, I had an issue because it would bounce so far back that it wouldn't cover the output um, portion right here, and you would have you would have the uh, what do you call it, the gas seeping out, so it wouldn't be covered perfectly like this. It would go too far back, and the gas would just seeping out, and you would hear like a little hissing sound. <laughs> wasn't as reliable the FPS would also fluctuate and it just uh, wasn't running good if you have that issue get a real one and that problem is going to be solved mine run perfectly fine now and I have no um, bolt bounce anymore now the difference between all of these buffers is buffer weight um, the first one which is the Viper Tech right there um, we have it at 50 grams, which is 1.7 ounces. Then the next one to my right, right here, that is a normal one, which you get with every uh, AR you get. With most of them you get standard is 82 grams, which is 2.8 ounces. And then we go to the heavier one. As you can see, the heavier one right here, it's marked and it has there we go, I don't know if you can see it. It says H2. The H2 are even heavier. It's 127 grams, which is uh, 4.5 ounces. And then we have the H2, and we have the H3 right here. And the H3 is um, what we got here 144 grams which is uh, 5.1 ounces and then we get the heaviest one which is in my uh, Viper Tag right now in this one which brings it to a whopping 192 grams which is 6.8 ounces now check out the difference from the Viper Tech one which is 50 grams or one 0.76 ounces to 192 grams or to 6.8 ounces. That's a huge, huge jump. Now, why would you go with a really heavy one, somebody would say, because it's using much more gas, it's running sluggish, it's going slow and all of that. Well, it depends. If you're using CO2, yours is gonna be going really fast. It might be going too fast. So. If you're having something like this, it might be going way too fast. Instead of having a heavier one to where it brings it down to a kind of like more normal rate of fire. And then again, that depends on you. Um, with, what was it? With the regular one, with this one, my rate of fire was around 1,200. We're actually gonna put the regular one in there and then compare it to the H4. I mean, this is gonna be, I don't know, maybe 1,400 or something like that uh, per minute. You might like that. It's gonna be less recoil, follow-up shot's gonna be much easier. Also shooting full auto bursts, you're gonna have less recoil, so that might be something for you. If you want a more realistic kind of rate of fire, then you go with the heavier ones. That's what I did. I, um, well, I tried it with the H2, I thought that'd be enough, and then I was like, no, it's still too fast, and then I thought maybe an H3 would be enough was still too fast and then I got myself the H4 and the H4 is still at um, I think almost 900 rounds per minute it's still a lot 
but it's in uh, the normal realm. And let's just show you guys the difference. All right, so we have the H4 in here, the heaviest one, it's empty. You see, you see, that's why I run CO2 and also a heavy uh, buffer because it gives me a lot of pleasure. And as you can see here, so you know I'm not full of crap, H, H4. Okay, now let's go with the Vipertech one with the super light one. I actually haven't done that. Let's see how that one's going to go. Interestingly enough, it's not going that fast. I didn't expect that. Let's try. Let's try this one. This is the regular one. Now look at that. Look at that difference. Why is this one much slower than the little bit heavier one, real buffer? Wow, okay, so I learned something new as well. I've been honestly didn't expect that so I would say because uh, this still gives it a bulk bounce a little bit it can't work as fast as this Jesus Christ this was super fast man all right and let's go back to H4 the one I used to have something new today so well let me do a recap then if your Viper Tech shoots too slow and I'm assuming also with all the other GBBRs out there don't use this <laughs> use a slightly heavier one a real one that has weights in it and the rate of fire is gonna go up like crazy now brings me to another point if you like it when it's going slow, but you don't want to use a real one and you don't want to use as much CO2 or a green gas, red gas, whatever it is, you want to be a little bit conservative with it, just use a real one if you don't have your ball bounce back and forth. If you like the recoil, if you're all about it, just like me, try the H2, H3, or maybe even the H4. See how that is. And one last thing before you guys go why you would like to choose different uh, weights. Because sometimes in winter, when it's cold, the gas can't expand as much, so it's not gonna be as strong. So it's good to have lighter weight. And then in summertime, when it's too hot, maybe it runs too fast, so you're gonna go with the heavier one. That's all I have to say. You guys have a wonderful day.